Hey, hey Wildcats! Welcome back to another weekly scratch. I'm Oscar. And I'm Esme. Now, let's wipe up to Alyssa and Kanan with today's TikTok trends. <laughs> Where's your fit from? My fit is from PacSun, um, Lululemon, Foot Locker, and that's it. Thank you. Hi. Uh, where's your fit from? Hi. You mean my drip? <laughs> oh! No, my socks are from Hobby Lobby. Uh -huh. My shoes are from Nike, and my shirt is from uh, Rasputin. And Rasputin. Your, your shorts? My shorts come from Spain. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Where's your fit from? Where's my fit from? Yeah. Um, honestly, it's probably from one Target that's across town and then another Walmart that's across town. Thank you, thank you. Where's your fit from? My fit from? Your fit, your outfit. Oh, uh... Wait a minute! It's from H&M. It's from H&M, oh. H &M. H &M, okay. H &M, okay. Yeah. Your, your pants? My pants, also H&M. And your shoes? My shoes, I got from Dick's. Okay, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, where's your fit from? Sunnyside, of course. Um... Costco, Amazon. Thank you. No problem. Coach Carte said, Senior Captain Mia Palermo is a great leader and she has a great start to the season with wins over Sierra and Madera South High Schools. Congratulations to Maya. Hola y bienvenidos. Hola y bienvenidos. Como ya deben de saber, estamos en el Hispanic Heritage Month. Y lo que vamos a hacer en el día de hoy es que vamos a ir a preguntar a todos nuestros Wildcats de lo que es de ser latino. Y esto es Oscar Mundo. En el día de hoy estamos con... Nalia. Osfari. Charlize. Son Willy. Sonia. Y Ashley. Raúl Flores. Diana. Y la pregunta es, ¿qué es tu favorita comida? Um, a mí me encantan los tamales y pozole. ¿Y por qué? Pues están bien buenos. ¿Es todo? Sí. O sea, la pregunta es, ¿qué es una palabra que tus papás siempre te dicen? Que me ponga las pilas. Que me ponga zapatos porque si no me voy a enfermar. <risa> si no limpias, no vas a salir. <risa> Cuando llego y me preguntan, ¿ya llegaste? <risa> que le eche ganas cuando estoy sufriendo en algo. <risa> Ay, gracias. Y la pregunta es, ¿cuál deporte es que más hispanos juegan? Fútbol. ¿Cuál equipo vas? ¿América o Chivas? A Chivas a todito. ¿Y por qué? <risa> porque son los más mejores. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah. ¿América o Chivas? Psh, América, pura águilas. ¿Fue gol o no fue gol? No fue gol, compa Memo la salvó. Hey Wildcats, I'm Jimena, and today I'm bringing you Collins and Mena, where I'll be talking about high school life and small problems you can try to change, or just simple advice from fellow seniors. If you're interested on coming on to this segment, text me or any other VPA students. Today we'll be talking about why our school should have vending machines. So Wildcats, as you know, many students have been getting in trouble for selling snacks. As you know, when you're at school for several hours, you get hungry. And since we can't sell, I wonder why we don't have vending machines. So, I'm going to ask some of the fellow Wildcats what they have to say about this. I'm here with... Tony. Tatiana Pittman. Rebab. Rose. Jalissa. Today we're going to ask her how she feels about the school having vending machines. I feel like we should have them, especially for water, because people be getting dehydrated too often. Well, clearly, as if you could tell, people have been getting caught for selling snacks, but I feel like students sell snacks because we don't really find the lunch appealing, and it's kind of disgusting, and I'd rather starve myself than have the school lunch. It's just not good. It's not good, huh? No, it, it'd be tasting like food poisonings. The school should have vending machines so that us students could eat, and we could have, we could pay attention in class so we could um, expand, you know? That's why I think we should have vending machines. First of all, school should have vending machines because it would be a great source of income for the school in general. And it would also be beneficial for students that aren't allowed to be off campus. So that would be a great thing to have here. The reason why school should have vending machines is probably because during passing periods, a lot of kids get really hungry and try to find food. And like most kids at this school do not like school food so it's good for the school to have vending machines for those kids who do not eat lunch and would like to have a snack for school after doing my research it turns out that there's a law called the healthy kids initiative which is the reason why we can't sell snacks luckily our school at least has a snack bar which sells us the snacks that fall under the nutritional guidelines unfortunately we might not be able to change this law right now 
but you can try to bring some of your own snacks or simply just starve. Here's anime casting letting you know what's hot in the Japan industry. Hey Wildcats, welcome to the first se- Hey Wildcats, welcome to the anime cast, the segment where we talk about what's hot and cold in the anime and otaku industry. My name is Nathan. I'm Cynthia. And I'm Anna. Today we're going to be looking at anime that's coming out in the fall season of 2022. Looking at what's most anticipated, it seems that Spy Family is going to come out with a new season, probably coming in October. Spy X Family is an action fiction comedy that has a spy named Lloyd build a family consisting of an assassin, Yor, and a young telepath, Anya, to execute a mission to prevent war and keep peace between two countries. All title to make it a comeback. A popular show making a return is Bleach, a thousand years blood war. In the new season, the Thousand Year Blood War, an enemy of the Soul Society called the Hidden Empire threatens to come back and end the Soul Society, turning the world into a frozen wasteland. And it's up to Ichigo and the rest of the Soul Reapers to defend the Soul Society from this world ending threat. A new anime that's getting ad an adaptation from its manga is Chainsaw Man. <laughs> I don't know. Chainsaw Man is about Denji, a lovable street urchin paying off the debts of his dead father with the part-time job of hunting devils. Denji's only friend in the whole wide world is Pochita, a chubby dog-like devil with a chainsaw embedded in his face. Pochita makes a pact to live as Denji's new heart, and in return, Denji can transform into Chainsaw Man, an absolutely maniac force of destruction. Looks like we're out of time. Be sure to tune into the series when they air. Pull up a chair, students, and we'll let you know where you should be spending your dollar on a bite to eat. Hey Wildcats, welcome to Food Reviews. Are you looking for a place to eat at? Let me introduce you guys to Golden Dragon, a place right across the street located next to Popeyes. It is open from 11 to 9 p.m. The menu is very abundant so you will for sure be able to find something you will enjoy. It also has really good customer service. I personally would rate the food a solid 8 out of 10 and the customer service a good 9 out of 10. You get many large quantities of food for a decent price. Remember, Golden Dragon. Do you own an orange shirt? Find out why you should wear it from Monte and Ari. Orange Shirt Day is an event designed to commemorate the residential school experience of Indigenous and Native Americans to witness and honor the healing journey of the survivors and their family and to commit to ongoing process of reconciliation. So come and join us Friday, September 30th by wearing orange in support of our indigenous brothers and sisters. And remember, every child matters. Let's hear from another one of Sunnyside's newest teachers. I fell in love with ceramics when I was in high school, so I'm really jazzed to teach all these high schoolers. I used to be an interior designer, and I went back to school to become an art teacher, and it's my true love, and I really love being here. It's really fun. I don't know, I love children. I have three of my own, and I, I think kids um, energize me, and I love, I kind of get them. So I kind of get the students, if you're down, I could feel you being down, and I like to cheer you up. And if you need a challenge, I'll challenge you. My classroom, I, I have, Every, every table is a number, so everybody works in groups. It's, it's real important in the ceramics classroom because there's lots of tools, and some of them are dangerous tools, and I need to know who has them, so I'm extremely organized. In this classroom, it's kind of new. Everything's kind of new, especially the ceramics part, and it is a challenge, but I think that challenge just broadens your horizons. Words of wisdom to my students would be just to try hard. I'm grading mostly on their effort, and usually, um, 
takes practice. So I think art can be learned by anyone. And now it's time for Words of Wisdom with Mr. Troxel. Always keep track of how much toilet paper you have. Also, buy a plunger before you need it. Planning ahead is a good idea. Now on to Ask the Wildcats. Hey Wildcats, we're here with Clarissa, Nikki, Dog, Mystique, Ben Helene, Tommy, and Jocelyn. Emer, Harold, <laughs> Rebab, Tatiana Pittman, Dre. And what's the biggest red flag? To me, the biggest red flag is being friendly. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, if they ask for your snap instead of your phone number, you're valid. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Well, she lives with her grandma. <laughs> what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? If they're furry. If they're mean to other people, but they're nice to me. When they still text their ex. It's for sure a red flag. Yeah, valid, thank you. The biggest red flag in a guy is if he hangs out with too many girls. Would you ever want to be famous in the future and why or not? Uh, yeah, it'd be definitely cool to be famous, to get some money, you know, help my family. Yeah, I want to be famous for um, my kids because I'm going to have like eight kids, you feel me? Be famous so they could be known when they grow up and yeah, get money. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. I would want to be famous, but in the same time, no, because of the amount of hate that this uh, that social media has do project on some people but like have y'all ever seen the famous hijabi girl i don't think so <laughs> i do not want to be famous because i want my private life private not all over social media no i wouldn't want to be famous because i would like to walk down the road and not be bothered <laughs> i like my peace and that's it for this week bye, bye wildcats, wildcats.